It's desired to find the rectangle of largest area which can be drawn inside a circle of radius A. So I've drawn a picture of this. Now you can imagine that just based on the symmetry of the circle that if x, y is the ordered pairs of this point here, then you would have these be the ordered pairs of the other corners of the rectangles. So the first thing you'd want to ask is what should be the area of the rectangle? Well, it's the length times the height. Uh, so I'd have this length here, and this length here should be 2x. The height should be 2y. So it appears that the area should be given as uh, this formula here. A is equal to 4xy. Now, in addition, there is a relationship between x and y. Recall what that relationship is. x squared plus y squared is equal to a squared because that will trace out this circle. Now, this relationship says that I can find what y is in terms of x. So I'm going to do that next. So now the 4xy has become 4 times x, and then this is the y, the square root of a squared minus x squared, because that's, that's what I would get if I solved this for y. Next, note that if I maximize a, that is, if I find a value of x that makes a as big as possible, it would be the same value of x that will maximize this expression because this expression is obtained by simply squaring this one. The problem with this is it involves an x to the fourth, and I haven't really discussed how to deal with those, so what I'll do is replace each time I see an x squared with a new variable called z. So here's a z for that x squared, and for this x squared, there's a z. And so it would suffice to find uh, to maximize this expression here. So if I multiply it out, I get this. Now, how do we go about maximizing something like that? Well, we complete the square. So that's what I've done here. I factored out a minus 16, and then I have a z squared minus a squared z here. And then we have to complete the square on the inside. So we take half of this, we take that half of it and square it and add it in and subtract it off. And then that yields that this is equal to z minus a squared over 2, all squared. Then I multiplied through by the minus 16, and this is what I got. So what are we going to do to make this as large as possible? To make this as large as possible, we should let z equal to a squared over 2, because when we do that, this term becomes a 0. And if we don't do that, I'll be subtracting off something positive. So this is what z needs to equal. But remember, z was chosen to equal x squared. So x is equal to a over the square root of 2. And then if you take that special value of x, and place it here in the original relation, you find that y also has to be a over the square root of 2. And so, the maximum area should be 4 times a over the square root of 2, times a over the square root of 2, and that's just 2a squared.